we have limited capacity as humans. Like, we can focus on 10 topics, 15, and if AI is not one of them, it doesn't really exist to us. I'm here to tell you, this is it. The world as you know it is over, completely done. Uh, it's not about to be over, it's over. I'd openly say, you probably have a year, not to live, you're going to live more than a year, I hope, but you know, you're, you probably have a year to react, and, and don't blame me, because honestly, I'm never coming back to speak to you. Next year, you're go probably going to invite my avatar. So, and, and I promise you that's the truth. I'm, b before I came here yesterday, just for the fun of it, I asked Gemini and ChatGPT, I said, give me a 35-minute speech on AI, and read me minutes two to four. Yeah, it did sound a bit like a politician, but it, did, it made a speech. And it's quite interesting how we ignore that, because with something like ChatGPT 4.0, which came out uh, this week, it, it not only prepared the speech, but it now can also laugh with me and sing with me and you know, tell me things. It, it sounds very Californian to me, but anyway, you know, I've lived with Californians long enough to put up with it. And, but it is, it's real. It is real. And if you haven't used it, where have you been in the water? What I'll try to, to, to do is first help you understand where we're coming from. Because if you understand the trajectory of what's been happening, how quickly that thing is launching, you can imagine how it's going to look like next year. So where we came from, I'm a very serious geek. I started coding at age eight, which feels like a zillion years ago. And when I coded, believe it or not, age eight, uh, first co time I coded, I was using BASIC, which is, as the name implies, a very basic language. And I wanted to create an AI. That's my, that was my dream, right? Every one of us geeks, we just wanted to create an AI. It was everyone's dream. We never managed to, but we did something that appeared intelligent. So, you know, let me, let me start by defining what is AI. Every piece of code I've ever written before the year 2000 was a piece of code where I solved the problem first with my intelligence and then told the computer how to solve it, right? So it's almost like if I call one of you and give you a puzzle and then tell you this piece you put in the top left corner and then that piece under it and that piece under it and then turn this one and so on. You can finish the puzzle and if someone doesn't hear me giving you the instructions, they would think you're very smart, but you're not, right? By the turn of the century, this ended. So the idea of us telling computers what to do, by the way, they did it very quickly, very accurately, at a massive scale, and so they appeared smart, okay? But it was me who solved the problem. It was my intelligence multiplied. By the turn of the century, we discovered something called deep learning. And deep learning was, truly teaching computers the way I taught my children how to be intelligent. The way I taught my children how to be intelligent was to give them little puzzle pieces when they were young, you know, those cylinders and a board with different holes in it. And no one ever told their children, no, no, hold on, my son, take the, children, take the cylinder, turn it upside down, look at the cross section, it will look like a circle, compare it to those holes, it will match the one that is a circle, put it there. Nobody ever tells the, their children that. What we do is we give them a cylinder and a board, and they keep trying, 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 until one time it goes through, and then suddenly, boom, light bulb, and they learn something, right? That's exactly what we did with computers or with deep learning.